Hello everybody, this is Ron with Robo Alarms and I'm in the shop. Today I have a recordable siren driver mostly used, at least for me, by for a voice siren driver so that I have a voice warning on the alarms I put in as well as an alarm siren sound. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. There are two switches. Gee, I've got a few other boards in the way here. Switch number one just makes it activated if it's in the own position. Whenever you apply power, it goes into alarm mode. Switch number two turns on or off the record button so that if you put this inside your alarm system, you don't accidentally bump the red button and erase the recording that you've got. Just to give you a quick demonstration on how it works, this one I've got to switch to in the on position, meaning that the red record button is activated. Switch number one is in the off position, meaning that for it to play, I have to push the black play button. So I'll, I'll, I'm just going to record here and let you see how it works. Hello, hello, hello. And does it work? Now, when I'm holding the button, the blue light will have stayed on for 20 seconds or approximately 20 seconds. And at the end of the recording time, it would go off and you'd let go of the button. Now, it will record up to that length of time. And like in this case, I held the button down for less than 20 seconds. So the recording is for whatever length of time I held the button down. Push the black button. Hello, hello, hello. And does it work? And you can see it works. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't make a whole long recording. These are pretty easy to hook up. They're labeled on here positive negative that goes to the power and speaker so that you connect the speaker and if you do hook it up to a big loud horn like this a uh, horn speaker not a siren speaker but an actual speaker eight ohms these are really loud you'd be surprised how loud they are and it is amplified that's what the smaller chip is I also have some of these uh, that you can use the uh, siren module that connects to a Lynx touch and this is the back of a Lynx touch. This siren module will fit inside the Lynx touch. It has two sided stick on tape and when it's actually triggered there's a little light that will come on. Pretty easy to connect where it says siren that's the negative output in this case goes to the negative of the siren board or if you're using a regular siren you would just put the negative of the siren to the SIR and positive to the plus sign and also the plus being common here you will have to put two wires on it. One of the red wires goes over to the Lynx touch and connects there and then you've got the black wire here from the uh, alarm module or the siren module and the black wire connects to the GND and it's labeled GND here but it's negative of the panel. Then the yellow wire connects to the TR which connects to the TR, TRG or TRIG I believe it's spelled. Let's just see how it's spelled. It's right in front of me. TRIG. Anyway that's where it connects. That's it. Showing off my genius today. Anyway uh, I printed these. You can actually see it says Robo Alarms on it. It has instructions on the back, but when that's stuck down in your panel, it's a little hard to read those. So, I stick labels on them too. Using this, when the alarm system triggers, you will have to program your Lynx Touch to have an output for your trigger. That's in your rules. And uh, if you need help, you can always ask me. I'll be more than help, happy to help you program it. And this works just like that, but whenever the alarm's triggered now, you'll have your voice warning. And you have whatever kind of voice warning you want. Uh, I usually just state something to the effect, uh, warning, you're under video surveillance, the police will call, leave now. And then go into the siren sound. And I am posting uh, three or four recordings that you can put on your own. Now, if you do order a uh, voice board from me, I will go ahead and record it for you. But when you get it, all you have to do is push the button and record your own. Very easy hookup. Not all that expensive, and they're pretty neat boards. If you have any questions or would like to get 
one of these boards? Let me know. I do usually have one or two listed at least on eBay from time to time. Uh, and if somebody leaves me a message on uh, YouTube, I'll even put it on there for you. Anyway, this is Ron, and I'm in the shop. Talk to you later.